guys, it's MJ here. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Um, so today we're gonna be getting ready for my goddaughter's fifth birthday party. I'm super, super excited. Um, however, last night I decided to go out and party like it was 2009 and uh, I'm not 21 anymore and I was reminded of that this morning. So what we're gonna be trying to do is turn this whatever is going on with the blotchies and the circles and the pounding and we're gonna see if we can make this train wreck into a hot mess. At least hot mess enough that the five-year-old birthday girl is gonna look at me like, oh my god, she's still a princess. It's amazing. Okay, thanks for joining the channel. Let's see what we can do about this. A done messed up. So I'm gonna just talk through this whole video. I'm not gonna dub it or anything like that. I want it to be fairly quick. I kind of started with my foundation a little bit and then realized that I don't have primer on. I have nothing on. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just here. I'm sitting. I'm apparently crazy right now. My camera is tilting to a really strange angle. Can we, can we adjust this? Can we make this better? No? Can I just... Okay, now I'm in the middle. This is good. This is good. I have a feeling I haven't been on YouTube long enough to make one of these train wreck videos but we'll see where we can go with this. Okay, let's get started again. After I, you know, do this and the fire primer and the, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'll be right back. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is going in with Super Goop, their Advanced Anti-Aging Eye Cream. I'm wondering if it can turn back some of last night. Okay, do, 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 do. Squeezy, 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 maybe a squeezy. Kinda. I think I'm out of it. Oh, this is gonna be that kind of video. Okay, now we're gonna do my Smashbox primer oil. I have the itty bitty sample from Ipsy, and we're gonna see if I like it, because anytime someone's like, hey, let's put some oil on your already acne prone face, I'm like, mm, let's talk about this. Okay. Do, 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 do. I actually really like how this stuff feels. It's so soft, and my bird is giving us commentary. Tiki, Tiki, we know you're beautiful. Everybody loves you. Like 98% of the time, you're the cutest thing in the world. She might end up joining us because she does not like when I'm not paying attention to her. Okay, a little bit better, a little bit better. Still really, really red. Let's move on to some foundation. I'm gonna be outside, it's kinda rainy here today. We're gonna see kinda how this goes. I really like the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation and I am using shade N2, which is their second lightest neutral color. I'm gonna preface this with a lied and I added a little bit of my CoverGirl just because it's the perfect match for me added it in there and I replaced their sponge because their sponge got nasty. Like I could only be clean so many times. Did I walk into a wall last night? What is this? So I drink maybe four times a year. Like, I'm not talking like, oh, I think I'll have a hard cider with dinner tonight before I go to bed at 9.30. What I'm talking about is like going out and being like, yeah, whiskey, I can handle that. I am always proved wrong and somehow continue to repeat the mistake. We had to take a little animal rearrangement break because no one was getting along. And this one, this little baby right here, all she could think was, mommy's in the room, mommy needs to instantly pay attention to every squawk that I make. And we had a little temper tantrum. So now we're gonna do concealer with a bird. Like I'm not gonna use the bird to put the concealer on, I'm just, the bird is with us to consult. Good? Good, let's do this. Okay. NYX Dark Circle Concealer, cause hot damn. And I'm using the color DCC01 Fair. Cheapy flat foundation brush. And I'm just gonna put a nice big triangle under my eyes. 
My girlfriend takes a ton of pictures whenever she does these birthday parties and historically there's always a picture of like me with my makeup half off, drinking a soda with like that face and, and that's... Can we just have one year where I don't look like the hungover aunt even it's normally I'm just I was there for like a couple of hours putting up decorations kind of thing. Oh, oh, I look people toned again. I like it. What do you think? Is this good? Is this a winner? Yeah? Okay. We're gonna take my knockoff beauty blender because $20 for a sponge means you've lost your damn mind. Okay, I use this palette in every video, every video, because it's amazing. And eventually, probably today, I'll break down and I'll buy their other color palette, but this is Makeup Revolution Hot Spice Blush Palette. And they're all these like super pretty, pinky, orangey, salmon-y colors. I just love them. They're fantastic, they're amazing. So, oh, you're gonna go back on camera in a second. I'm gonna pick up the lightest of the pinky oranges and just pop a little bit of that at the top of my cheekbones. I'm not going crazy on the cheek color because I know I have a lot of other redness that's kind of bleeding through a little bit and I don't want to look too pigmented during the day. I'm also going to go in with my Sheer Glow Hard Candy in the color Blushing Babe. I'm going to be a babe today according to this highlighter. What is that? What is going on there? Oh, oh, just, just stuff. Okay, a little bit on my fingertips. It's like a pinky, shimmery. It's actually probably the color that I would be if I didn't have so much discoloration. And I'm just gonna tap that on there. The whole goal of the makeup when I'm a little on the uh, hungover side is just to brighten up the areas of my skin that are really sallow, deal with the areas of my skin that are kinda on the shiny, nasty side, making sure everything looks good. I'm going in with my $1.99 New York color, N York, N York color, New York color, thank you. Smooth skin loose face powder with my stippling brush. And I'm just gonna wipe myself down because I'm really shiny right now. That Lumi L'Oreal foundation, it's beautiful. The color matches are really nice on it. Um, I can say though that if you're someone who's kind of oily, it can present long-term wear issues. Okay, this looks good. Tiki stamp of approval, yeah. Why no kisses on camera? Are you camera shy? Cause you're not shy the rest of the day. Fine, be that way. Did you notice I'm short a bird? Someone's having their birdie period, scream to come out. I put her out, she hangs out with me for 10 minutes and bites me in the ear. What you gonna do? So the next thing that we're gonna be doing is my eyes. I'm gonna be using my Paula Dorf. There's no color name on this, but hey, directions. This impeccable color palette is designed to flatter every skin tone. Using shadows individually or plan, blend, blend together to contour, highlight, and line the eyes. Create a flawless natural eye or apply, apply more for a darker definition. That's what it says right there. They couldn't have named it like pinky talky toffee cream or something like that. Can I, I really wanna make sure you see this color. This is a really nice transition color. I'm also gonna be going in with Mary Kay Moonstone. I sold Mary Kay. I don't sell it anymore. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I will say, that if you can find a Mary Kay salesperson to at least get you the eye makeup remover and a couple of the eyeshadows and their legendary lengths mascara, holy bejeezables. It's unbelievables. Bejeezables, unbelievables. Oh, that was like rhymey-ish. It's really good though. So, super duper, floofy fluffy brush. First into the Paula Dorf. 
the pinky creamy taupey shade. And a whole lid, eyebrow, up and over, everything. Okay, now that I have that in there, I'm gonna actually use the same fluffy brush, go into the Moonstone, which is a mildly shimmery yellow. It's a, it's a yellow though, it's like a buttercream yellow. And I'm gonna put that just on my lid up to the crease and no farther. No, you had your chance. You have millet, play with your millet. Okay. I'm gonna go a little crazy here. I'm gonna take this yellowy color and I'm gonna get under my eye with it too. I know that somewhere in the tower of makeup I have in my bedroom, there's some banana-esque powder in there. It's, it's too much work. It's too much work. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. No. But I am gonna finish this. So a couple of months ago, Ulta, my favorite, as many of you know, much prefer them over Sephora. Please don't shoot me. Gave away this springy palette with six colors in it. It's got full moon, romance, brownie. Moonbeam, Bayou, and Give Me Gold. Moonbeam, not my friend. Everything else, wondrous. So with a new floofy fluffy brush, this one's slightly less of the floofy fluffy variety, I'm gonna go in with Full Moon. Super light, like I barely want this color to show up right under my brows, which we're gonna touch up in a few minutes. And then we're gonna take a, where is it? Paul, like I said, hot mess, train wreck, all that good stuff. We're gonna go with a little skinny brush into brownie, just the tip of the brush, ah, just the tip. And I'm just gonna get a little bit into my crease and on the outer corner. So next thing next, my goddaughter is a princess. Like a, oh my God, everything has to be pink. I have been chastised for not wearing pink on seeing her. So I'm gonna go in with this fun, bright mauve matte, floofy brush. So in the early 2000s, Everything on your eyes and your cheeks and your lips and your body needed to be pink and gold if you decided that you were a girly girl. I fully support hanging out with that one particular trend as long as it doesn't bring back that pink body shimmer spray that made you look like something was wrong with you on your skin. But going in with pink eyeshadow has never hurt anybody. I picked up a bolder, metallic -y magenta, and I'm just getting in there too because I didn't have as much impact as I want. I've said this in a video before, I love Makeup Revolution. I think if you are trying to get into fun colors, collect some palettes, learn how to use different things, this is the color, okay? This is just, you can get anything from them for like 15 bucks, it's insane. Color payoff, Ugh, you gotta load them up. I've never managed to hit pan on any of their stuff, and once I've used something a lot, it becomes more workable. It gets a little softer, a little creamier to work. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, what was that? Um, it gets a little softer, a little creamier to work with, but it takes 
it takes time and it takes patience and you, you gotta just know that that's what you're getting into with it. Okay, eyes are mostly done except I'm gonna throw on a little bit of hard candy, walk the line. Ooh, I should get some Johnny Cash in here. Walk the line, silvery liquid eyeliner. The color is, the color is apparently silvery liquid eyeliner because there's no color. That's like my thing. You can't put a color on your product. Like why? How long does that take? So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is my eyebrows. I'm gonna stick with just basic brown today. I have Jordana Quick Liner Eyes and Chocolate Cherry. I don't know if this brand is still around. I have a ton of stuff from them that I've gotten over the years and they stay nicely. The color always looks good. This is like a brunette. The formula has a really high color payoff, but it can be a little chunky. It does need to get brushed in. I'm just gonna use the spoolie off the back of one of my Maybelline Eye Studio Master Shapes brushes. Remember, up, out. Ooh, I like it. It's almost like a, I haven't used this brush with this pencil in forever. I just grabbed it. I was like, oh, that looks brown. It's like a, it's got like a red to it. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. In the top drawer. That one hangs out. Okay. I realized I forgot something a little bit earlier. I have a little bit of day cream mixed with some CoverGirl foundation just for a really sheer like baby cream. I'm having some discoloration on my neck caused from some blood sugar issues. I am just going to kind of smooth that in there because I noticed looking in my mirror, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I had some splotchy areas kind of going down my neck, which are not super attractive. It's not anything I can control, but I kind of want to clean it up just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to throw on some mascara and I'm going to be right back. Last thing we're going to do is my lips. So I'm going to take my NYX Full Throttle in no name color. Okay. FTLS Full Throttle Lipstick 07. It is a contour shape, pinky, hold on, try to get some better light for you, okay. Pinky nude color. I like it. Um, I like the formula more than I like the color. It's really full coverage. Um, on camera, it's showing up as really pink. It's it's really not pink. It's it's more of a like a blush nude. Once it dries, though, it forms like the perfect primer for anything that you want to put over the top. And I've never seen anything that I put on this fall off. Now that it's dry and you've seen my epic dance moves, we're gonna use Model Company Lip Liqueur in Socialite. This is pink. This is very pink. This stuff smells amazing. I got it in a, either an Ipsy or a Birchbox like months ago, and it's a decent sized sample. Normally these lip samples are either perfect or teensy teensy tiny. This was kind of in between. Now you just witnessed my daily life. That would be the cat walked past the birds, the birds yelled at the cat, the dog yelled at the birds, and the smaller dog is yelling at the big dog from the other room.
Okay, this is how I want to look for the little princess's birthday party. So let's seal this up. I'm going to be taking my Ulta setting spray, lean back. Funny story, I was once doing this with somebody and I said, okay, you're going to lean back and just lightly mist it on your face. They leaned back, kept their eyes and mouth open and sprayed this on them and then was upset that I didn't tell them to have common sense like a human. But uh, so for you guys, future reference, lean back, shut all your holes and then spray it in. Sound like a plan? How do we look? Oh, like a pretty, pretty princess. A pretty, pretty, not as hungover looking as she did before princess. I'm gonna pop my hair up from ponytail, grab some still shots for you guys and I'll pop on back. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you like this style of video, comment. If you like the style of video where I do it, speed everything up and then dub over the top, comment as well. I wanna know what you like so I can make things that you enjoy watching. Thank you so much for popping by again. This is MJ and another Get Ready with MJ. Thank you.